Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to Mathematics and I. And today we are solving a problem on um, polynomials using long division method. Now we are giving the question to solve, and then we are told to use the long division method in solving this problem. Now, what is the first thing you need to know that you should apply when you are solving problems of polynomials using the long division? Now, there are three steps you need to follow, and these steps are division, multiplication, and subtraction. These are the three things that you need to do when you are solving any questions of polynomial that has to do with long division method. And now we are going to see how these three things are very important in solving what problems. Now let us see the first question we have for today. Uh, the question says, um, Okay, um, divide 10x raised to the power 4 plus 17x raised to the power 3 minus 62x raised to the power 2 plus 30x minus 3 by 2x squared plus 7x minus 1. Now, one thing you need to know is that this is called, this expression is called a divisor and this is called a dividend and any results we get here is called the what? the quotient now sometimes when you divide a number there are remainders and sometimes there is no remainder now when there is no remainder it means the divisor is a factor of the dividend but when there is remainder it means it is not a what? a factor now how do you know a, 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 the divisor is a factor when you solve and then your remainder is zero then it means it is a factor of the what of the dividend now without wasting time let us begin this man like i said from the beginning of the class there are three steps you need division multiplication and subtraction now let us divide now when you are dividing you only make use of this first you know this the 2x squared and the 10x raised to the power 4 you don't use this, you don't use this when you are dividing. Only the first two. Now let us begin. Now when 2 divide 10, I will get 5. When x raised to the power 2 divide x raised to the power 4, I will get x raised to the power 2. Now we have divided. We have done the first part. Now what's the next thing we are going to do? We are going to times. Now what do we times? This quotient multiplies the whole of the divisor. Now when we do this, 5 times 2 gives us 10 x raised to the power 2 times x raised to the power 2 gives us x raised to the power 4 plus 5 times 7 gives us 35 x raised to the power 2 times x gives us x raised to the power 3 minus 5x squared times 1 still gives us 5x squared now we have multiplied then what is the next I said we do? we subtract you must follow this order now when we subtract we are going to get this 10x raised to the power 4 minus 10x raised to the power 4 gives us 0. Now, 17x raised to the power 3 minus 35x raised to the power 3 gives us minus 18x raised to the power 3. Next, minus 62x raised to the power 2 minus minus 5x raised to the power 2. Now, let us bring it out. Minus 62x raised to the power 2 minus minus 5x raised to the power 2 now we have two negative signs here minus times minus gives us plus now when you have when you minus you are owing when you are owing 62x raised to the power 2 and then you have 5x raised to the power 2 when you pay the 5x raised to the power 2 that you have from the 62x raised to the power 2 that you are owing what are you going to be owing less 57s raised to the power 2 because you are spoiling. Now here it comes minus 57x raised to the power 2. Now you will notice that these two expressions here, there is nothing here. So we just break down this. We just bring them down. Here it comes plus 30x minus 3. Okay, now we have obeyed the first three rules division, multiplication, minus. Now we go again. We begin from division. Now why do we go again? Because you will notice that the first the first guy here is also carrying x. You will only stop when there is no more x again in the mass. Now, we begin again division. 
First of all, if 2 divide minus 18, I will get minus 9. If x squared divide x cubed, I will get x. Now we have divided. Now what that says the next thing we do? We multiply. Minus 9x squared multiplies x. Anything you put here, you use to multiply. Now, minus 9x squared, first of all, minus 9 times 2 will give us minus 18. x times x squared will give us x raised to the power 3. Minus times plus will give us minus. Now, 9 times 7, 49, 56, 63, will give us 63. And x times x will give us x squared. Now, minus times minus will give us plus. 9x times 1 will give us 9x. If you notice, you will see that when I'm arranging it, I make sure that they are all arranged according to their powers. Not that you will not carry your minus 3x squared and put this under x. There will be a problem because there is no way you can work with them. These powers must be the same. It must be in accordance. Okay, now, when we proceed, we are going to have this. We are, we are multiplying. What's the next thing we do? We subtract. Now, minus 18x cubed minus... Minus 18x cubed will give us 0. Why? Because minus times minus will give us plus. Now, if you are owing 18x cubed and you pay 18x cubed, now what do we have? 0. Now, without wasting time, let us proceed. What do we have next now? Minus 57x squared minus minus 63x squared. Minus times minus gives us what? Plus. Now, when you are owing 57, and then you have 63, when you pay the 57 you are owing, how much will be left with you? 6x squared. So here becomes 6x squared. Now, 30x minus 9x will give us plus 21x. Then we bring down our minus 3. Okay, now without wasting time, we have this. We still have x at the first guy here. So we are starting again and we are going to divide. Now, when 2 divides 6, we are going to get plus 3. When x squared divide x squared, there will be no more x squared again. Because x squared cancel x squared, there is no more x. Now, we have divide. What does you do next now? You times. 3 times 2x squared gives us 6x squared plus 3 times 7x gives us 21x plus times minus gives us minus 3 times 1 gives us 3. Now we have multiplied. What's the next thing we do? We subtract. Now subtract in class. 6x squared minus 6x squared is 0. 21x minus 21x is 0. Minus 3 minus minus 3 is 0. Why? Because minus times minus is plus. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So what is our answer? 0. So what does that mean, class? It simply means when we divided this function by this, our remainder was 0. So it simply means that the divisor 2x squared plus 7x minus 1 is a factor of 10x raised to the power 4 plus 7, 17x raised to the power 3 minus 62x raised to the power 2 plus 30x minus 3. And the result in this question, which is our quotient, is 5x squared minus 9x plus 3. So this is how you can solve problems on polynomials using what? Long division method. Mainly, you use this long division method when you are looking for the what? The quotient. Like in our last video, I taught you how you can use, you know, the remainder theorem formula in getting what? The remainder instead of using the long division. So till we meet again in our next class. Thank you very much.